Understanding the distribution of matter in the universe has been a perplexing cosmic conundrum for scientists, despite the apparent simplicity of the question. The Flamingo Project, a groundbreaking computer simulation conducted by an international team of astronomers, offers hope in unraveling this mystery. This ambitious endeavor, based on Einstein's general theory of relativity, represents the largest cosmological computer simulation ever undertaken, aiming to trace the evolution of the universe from the Big Bang to the present day. Einstein's general theory of relativity revolutionized our understanding of space, time, and gravity, presenting a radically new picture of the cosmos. By conceptualizing space and time as a unified fabric distorted by mass and energy, Einstein introduced a profound shift in our perception of the universe. General relativity predicted phenomena such as the bending of light by massive objects like the sun, which was confirmed during a solar eclipse in 1919, catapulting Einstein to scientific celebration. Despite its revolutionary implications, Einstein himself was initially hesitant to embrace the full extent of general relativity's predictions. The theory challenged conventional notions of space and time, presenting a dynamic and ever-expanding universe filled with exotic phenomena like neutron stars and black holes. These cosmic marvels, born out of the curvature of space-time, illustrate the profound implications of general relativity for our understanding of the cosmos. General relativity laid the foundation for modern cosmology, offering a framework to explore the universe's vastness and complexity. Today, scientists continue to push the boundaries of our understanding by probing the mysteries of dark matter, dark energy, and the universe's origins and fate. The Flamingo Project represents a significant step forward in this endeavor, employing state-of-the-art computer simulations to model the evolution of the universe in unprecedented detail. The Flamingo Project simulations provide a comprehensive view of the universe's evolution, incorporating the effects of both ordinary matter and dark matter. Unlike previous simulations that focus solely on dark matter, Flamingo's approach considers the complex interactions of all cosmic components, including the influence of gas pressure and galactic winds. By integrating machine learning techniques, the project calibrates these simulations to match observed galaxy masses and gas distributions, refining our understanding of cosmic structures. However, challenges remain in reconciling observational discrepancies and refining the accuracy of cosmological simulations. The role of neutrinos, elusive subatomic particles with a minuscule but uncertain mass, remains a key area of investigation. Neutrinos, along with ordinary matter and dark matter, play crucial roles in shaping the universe's structure and evolution, yet their precise impact is still being elucidated. Despite these challenges, the Flamingo Project offers valuable insights into the fundamental processes driving the universe's evolution. By simulating the interactions of cosmic components on a vast scale, astronomers gain a deeper understanding of the cosmic web, the largest structure in the universe composed of filaments of ordinary and dark matter. These simulations illuminate the complex dynamics of cosmic evolution, paving the way for future discoveries in cosmology and astrophysics. Scientists achieved a more accurate representation of these astrophysical processes through the Flamingo Project, leveraging a supercomputer to execute simulations across varying cosmic volumes and resolutions. The most extensive simulation involved an astonishing 300 billion resolution elements, each akin to the mass of a small galaxy, spanning a cubic volume of 10 billion light-years. This achievement is considered the most extensive cosmological computer simulation to include ordinary matter. Matthew Scholler from Lean University played a pivotal role in this endeavor, developing a new code called SWIFT to efficiently distribute computational work over 30,000 CPUs. The simulations provided unprecedented visual insights into the universe's evolution, bridging the gap between theoretical predictions and data collected by advanced astronomical facilities like the James Webb Space Telescope. While the current theory elegantly explains how galaxies evolve, discrepancies arise when comparing theoretical predictions with observational data. The Flamingo simulations, which consider the effects of both dark matter and ordinary matter, aim to address these discrepancies. However, the simulations still do not fully resolve cosmological dilemmas such as the S8 tension, which pertains to the distribution of matter in the universe. The S8 tension arises from inconsistencies between measurements obtained from low redshift observations and those predicted by the standard model of cosmology. Despite considering the effects of ordinary matter and extreme galactic phenomena like galactic winds, the simulations fail to reconcile these discrepancies fully. 
This suggests potential shortcomings in our understanding of fundamental physics and cosmology. Computer simulations have emerged as indispensable tools in the pursuit of unraveling the complexities of the cosmos. Projects like the Flamingo Initiative stand at the forefront of this endeavor, offering a promising avenue for addressing cosmological dilemmas that have puzzled scientists for decades. Through the creation of intricate virtual models of the universe, these simulations provide valuable insights into the fundamental workings of the cosmos, shedding light on its evolution, structure, and composition. The Flamingo Project, in particular, represents a monumental effort in cosmological research, led by an international team of astronomers. This groundbreaking initiative aims to construct the most detailed computer simulation of the universe to date, drawing upon data from astronomical observations and theoretical models. The Flamingo simulation seeks to recreate the cosmic landscape from the Big Bang to the present day, encompassing billions of years of cosmic evolution. At the heart of the Flamingo project lies the desire to reconcile discrepancies between theoretical predictions and observational data. Despite the remarkable success of modern cosmological theories such as Einstein's general theory of relativity, discrepancies persist between the predicted distribution of matter in the universe and the observed reality. These disparities highlight the need for more sophisticated models that can account for the intricate interplay of various cosmic forces. One of the key strengths of computer simulations like Flamingo is their ability to explore the universe on scales that are inaccessible to traditional observational methods. By simulating the behavior of billions of celestial objects, including galaxies, stars, and dark matter, these simulations provide a comprehensive view of cosmic evolution. They allow scientists to track the formation and evolution of cosmic structures from the clustering of primordial gas clouds to the emergence of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Moreover, computer simulations offer a unique opportunity to test alternative theories of cosmology. While Einstein's general theory of relativity has served as the foundation of modern cosmology for over a century, it is not without its limitations. By subjecting cosmological models to rigorous computational scrutiny, scientists can explore the implications of alternative theories such as modified gravity or exotic forms of dark matter and dark energy. In addition to probing the mysteries of the cosmos, computer simulations play a crucial role in refining our understanding of fundamental physics. By simulating the behavior of matter and energy on cosmic scales, these simulations provide valuable insights into the underlying laws of nature. They allow scientists to test theoretical predictions, verify observational data, and explore the implications of new physical phenomena. The ultimate goal of projects like Flamingo is to unlock the secrets of the universe and deepen our understanding of the fundamental principles that govern its behavior. Through a combination of sophisticated algorithms, high-performance computing, and interdisciplinary collaboration, these simulations offer a tantalizing glimpse into the inner workings of the cosmos. They enable scientists to explore cosmic phenomena that are beyond the reach of traditional observation, from the formation of the first stars to the dynamics of galaxy clusters. However, despite their remarkable capabilities, computer simulations are not without their limitations. Building an accurate model of the universe requires making a multitude of assumptions and approximations, each of which introduces uncertainties into the simulation. Moreover, simulating the complex interactions of billions of cosmic objects requires vast computational resources and cutting-edge algorithms. Pushing the limits of current technology Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of computer simulations in cosmology are immense. By combining theoretical insights with observational data, these simulations offer a holistic approach to understanding the universe. They provide a framework for interpreting astronomical observations, testing competing theories, and guiding future observational campaigns. In conclusion, computer simulations represent a powerful tool for exploring the mysteries of the cosmos and refining our understanding of fundamental physics. Projects like the Flamingo Initiative offer a promising avenue for addressing cosmological dilemmas and unlocking the secrets of the universe. By creating virtual maps of the cosmos and simulating its evolution, these simulations provide valuable insights into the nature of the universe and our place within it. The unresolved S8 tension hints at potential breakthroughs in our understanding of dark matter, gravity, and the fundamental laws governing the universe. Future advancements in computational cosmology will continue to shed light on these cosmic puzzles, driving our quest to comprehend the intricacies of the universe.
Meanwhile, NASA's upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Telescope promises to revolutionize our understanding of the Milky Way and the broader universe. Scheduled to launch in May 2027, this telescope will monitor millions of stars in our cosmic backyard, facilitating the search for various celestial objects, including stars, planets, and black holes. With its unparalleled capabilities, the Roman telescope will deepen our understanding of the universe and its evolution over time, ushering in a new era of cosmic exploration. Astronomy is poised to enter a new era with the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, also known simply as Roman. This space telescope will revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos by conducting a survey called the Galactic Bulge Time Domain Survey. This survey will utilize the telescope's infrared vision to peer through clouds of dust and gas that typically obstruct our view of the central bulge of the Milky Way, where a vast concentration of stars resides. Infrared light is instrumental for this task as it penetrates through these clouds, unlike visible light, which gets absorbed by them. Roman's capabilities as a discovery machine, coupled with its vast view of space and keen vision, promise to yield a treasure trove of new information about the cosmos. Additionally, Roman will leverage a phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity called microlensing. Microlensing occurs when objects of tremendous mass warp the fabric of spacetime, causing the light passing near them to curve. Roman will utilize this effect to detect microlensing events, such as when a planet passes in front of a background star, temporarily amplifying its brightness. The telescope will conduct the Galactic Bulge Time Domain Survey by capturing images of the central region of the Milky Way every 15 minutes for two months. This observing campaign will be repeated six times over Roman's five-year primary mission, resulting in over a year's worth of combined observations. These extended observations will cover largely uncharted territories in the search for planets, potentially revealing over 1,000 planets orbiting distant stars. NASA anticipates that Roman's observing power will set a new record for discovering the most distant exoplanet ever detected by humanity. In addition to exoplanets, Roman will search for other celestial objects, including brown dwarfs and neutron stars. Brown dwarfs are failed stars that provide insights into the boundary between stars and planets, while neutron stars are remnants of massive stars that collapsed under their gravity. Roman's observations will also enable astronomers to conduct stellar seismology on around a million giant stars, shedding light on their structure, age, and other characteristics. The exploration of our cosmic neighborhood extends beyond distant galaxies and exoplanets to the outer reaches of our own solar system. One of the primary objectives of the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, affectionately known as Roman, is to study icy bodies within the Kuiper Belt. This region, located beyond the orbit of Neptune, is home to a vast population of icy objects, including dwarf planets, comets, and other remnants from the early solar system. Studying these icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt provides valuable insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. These objects, which have remained relatively unchanged since the solar system's infancy, serve as cosmic time capsules, preserving clues about the conditions and processes that shaped our celestial neighborhood billions of years ago. By analyzing their compositions, orbits, and surface features, scientists can unravel the mysteries of the solar system's distant past. One of the key questions Roman aims to address is the origin of these icy bodies and their role in the dynamical evolution of the solar system. The Kuiper Belt is thought to be the source of short-period comets, which periodically venture into the inner solar system, creating dazzling displays as they interact with the Sun. By studying the properties of Kuiper Belt objects, Roman will shed light on the mechanisms that govern the migration of these icy bodies and their interactions with other solar system objects. Moreover, the study of icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt has implications for understanding the broader context of planetary formation and migration. The presence of large icy objects such as Pluto and Eris challenges our conventional understanding of planetary dynamics and raises questions about the early history of the solar system. By characterizing the properties of these objects and their distribution within the Kuiper Belt, Roman will contribute to our understanding of planetary formation and the dynamics of the outer solar system. In addition to studying individual objects within the Kuiper Belt, Roman will conduct surveys to map the overall structure and composition of this region. By systematically observing a large number of Kuiper Belt objects, Roman will create a comprehensive census of these icy bodies, providing valuable data for astronomers and planetary scientists. 
This survey will not only deepen our understanding of the Kuiper belt itself, but also provide insights into the broader population of small bodies that populate the outer solar system. Roman's observations of the outer solar system extend beyond the study of icy bodies in the Kuiper belt, offering valuable insights into the fundamental processes that shape planetary systems. One area of focus is the dynamics of planetary orbits, which are influenced by a variety of factors, including resonances, secular perturbations, and gravitational interactions. Resonances are a key aspect of planetary dynamics and occur when the orbital periods of two celestial bodies form a simple integer ratio. For example, the orbital period of Jupiter's moon Io is exactly twice that of Europa, creating a resonance known as a 2 1 orbital resonance. Resonances can have profound effects on the stability and evolution of planetary systems, influencing the distribution of objects within them and shaping their long term dynamics. By studying resonances in the outer solar system, Roman will provide insights into the mechanisms that govern the formation and evolution of planetary orbits. Secular perturbations are another important factor in planetary dynamics and refer to long term changes in the orbits of celestial bodies due to gravitational interactions. These perturbations can result in gradual changes in the eccentricity and inclination of orbits over time, leading to complex dynamical phenomena such as orbital precession and secular resonances. By studying secular perturbations in the outer solar system, Roman will enhance our understanding of the processes that drive planetary evolution and migration. Gravitational interactions play a central role in shaping the structure and dynamics of planetary systems, influencing the orbits of celestial bodies through the force of gravity. In the outer solar system, gravitational interactions between planets, moons, and other objects create complex gravitational fields that can produce a wide range of dynamical effects, including resonances, secular perturbations, and orbital instabilities. By studying these interactions, Roman will provide valuable insights into the mechanisms that govern the formation and evolution of planetary systems. Moreover, Roman's observations of the outer solar system have implications for understanding the formation and evolution of planetary systems beyond our own solar system. Many exoplanetary systems exhibit configurations that are radically different from our own solar system, with giant planets orbiting close to their parent stars or in highly eccentric orbits. By studying the dynamics of the outer solar system, Roman will provide valuable context for interpreting data from exoplanet surveys and enhance our understanding of the diversity of planetary systems in the universe. Roman's observations of the outer solar system offer valuable insights into the fundamental processes that shape planetary systems. By studying resonances, secular perturbations, and gravitational interactions, Roman will contribute to our understanding of the formation and evolution of planetary systems both within our own solar system and in distant star systems. Roman's observations of the Kuiper belt will provide valuable context for interpreting data from exoplanet surveys. Many exoplanetary systems exhibit configurations that are radically different from our own solar system, with giant planets orbiting close to their parent stars or in highly eccentric orbits. By studying the dynamics of the Kuiper belt and other outer solar system objects, scientists can gain insights into the range of possible planetary architectures and the factors that influence their formation and evolution. The study of icy bodies in the Kuiper belt represents a crucial component of Roman scientific mission. By exploring the outer reaches of our solar system, Roman will provide valuable insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems, shed light on the dynamics of the outer solar system, and deepen our understanding of the broader context of planetary science. These scientific endeavors promise to significantly expand our understanding of the Milky Way and the broader cosmos, painting an evolving picture of the ever changing universe. Apart from Roman, another mission from the European Space Agency named Euclid is set to unveil more about the dark universe. Euclid's primary goal is to accurately map galaxy redshift, providing crucial insights into the universe's expansion rate and the influence of dark energy. By studying weak gravitational lensing and baryonic acoustic oscillations, Euclid will deepen our understanding of dark matter, dark energy, and the fundamental properties of the universe across cosmic history.